Now the break even. That's a fastball and a high bouncer to the left side. Splits the infield defenders and rolls into left field. The base hit. It scores Valdez from third, and it allows Willie Castro to go from corner to corner. One, two. There's a high fly ball deep to right center field. Moving to his right, Luke Rayleigh, and now the center fielder, Darian Tubbs, calls him off. That's plenty deep enough to score the runner from third. Willie Castro is in, and that makes the score two to nothing on the RBI sack fly for Juan De La Cruz. Shakes off the first sign, now he nods and fires. And the payoff pitch is belted up the left field line, and it's out of here in a hurry. Darian Tubbs with his second home run of the year. Cuts the deficit in half in the third. It's two to one. Boy, he turned on that one. Straight down the left field line, 332 feet down that line. You blinked and that one was already out of here. 2-0. That's a fastball shot in the air and down for a base hit in right center field. Darian Tubbs fielding, he kicks it around. It allows both runners to score. In from second is Bobby Eisen and in from first, Sam Haggerty as the throw back into the diamond is collected by the third baseman, Zach McKinstry. And sliding under the tag is Ortemar Valdez. 0-1, a high fly ball driven out to right field. Rayleigh is back and he is out of room. It's a two run home run for Anthony Miller and Lake County extends its lead in the sixth, six to one. That was another inside pitch thrown by Spitzbarth that was just ripped to the pole side for lefty Anthony Miller. 0-2. That's ripped over the head of the third baseman, Zach McKinstry, and down for a base hit in left field. Rolling all the way to the track, it's Sage Janko fielding, throwing back into the diamond, and that allows Jod Carter to score from second. RBI single with two outs in the seventh. It's now 7-1 Lake County. 0-1. That's lifted on a line to right center field. To his right, David Armendaris, he can't catch up to it. It bounces off the wall and allows Brendan Davis to score. Clapping his hands as he gets to second base. A two out RBI double for Eric Meza. Loons with some life in the seventh, it's seven to two. One one pitch. Fastball punched high into the air up the right field line. A towering pop up that nobody is able to get. The first baseman, Anthony Miller, looks behind him at the second baseman, Sam Haggerty. And neither of them caught the baseball. Eric Meza in to score from second. The 0-2 to Haggerty. A slow roller into the grass in front of home plate, picked up by the catcher, Garrett Hope, and he throws wild up the right field line. Ison scores from third on the play, and Haggerty is safe on first. And Estevez cranks the ball out to left field. Ison into the corner. He reaches up, and that ball is off the wall. McKinstry rounding third. Here's the throw from the cutoff man. It is held on to by Willie Castro, and it's an RBI double for Omar Estevez. And the Loons are down 8-4 to four now. The pitch. A fly ball hit out to right field. At the very least, it's deep enough to send in a run on the sacrifice fly. Rayleigh reaches up and makes the catch on the track. And trotting down from third is Jod Carter. The pitch. A slow roller up the first baseline in the grass. It's picked up by Vietes, and he ends up rolling it over the foul line. And in to score comes De La Cruz. It's 10-4 Lake County. As Vietes never had that one in his glove, he ended up pushing the ball away from him. But the Loons have the bases loaded, 1-1. A fly ball out to left field. Ison is back, hits a grand slam. Are you kidding me? It's a one-run game. Pitch. A fly ball hit out to left field. Ison is back. He's at the track. We're tied at 10. A home run for Luke Rayleigh. And the Loons are going nuts. Unreal.
0-1. Breaking ball is shot through the hole and into center field, a base hit. Garrett Hope waved around. The throw from Carter in center. It gets away from Cerveka. Hope is safe, and the comeback is complete. Blues win 11-10.